Hey folks, welcome to InTheMoneyStocks.com's intraday analysis video brought to you by the creators of proprietary price, pattern, and time methodology. Learn the PPT strategies and profit for life. My name is Gareth Soloway, Chief Market Strategist here at In The Money Stocks. Dot com. All right, guys, into the chart action we go. Markets having a nice sell-off across the board. This is on the back of continued worries out of Europe and Cyprus. Plus, you had Oracle earnings coming out yesterday after the bell, which again shocked the market. We've seen some pretty ugly earnings from the likes of the Caterpillar Deer Group. And then also you add in this Oracle move, which is down about just under 10% today. I mean, that's a big drop for Oracle. You don't see that every day. If you look at the daily chart, it gives you an idea. I mean, when was the last time you had a gap down like this on the chart? Now, it's had a very parabolic move since last year to the upside, but again, a dramatic decline across the board, sending shockwaves through the tech sector. And again, as I said, we've had Caterpillar, we've had Deer, which have really not been, per been performing well. As you can see these charts, I mean, here the markets are just off their, you know, all-time highs, and Deer is trading pretty much near the 2013 lows. If you take a look at Caterpillar, Caterpillar is at the two th 200... Uh, 2013 lows right now so it gives you a little bit of a pause here I mean I still think the markets eventually will climb above their 52 week high uh, all time highs on the S&P and blast even higher I actually do think you'll probably go up about two to three percent through that level but having said that um, I think that these are the warning signs across the bow if you will and we should all be paying attention for future issues all right, you know, Europe's not going to go away. China's not going to go away. These issues around the globe aren't going to go away. Plus, the U.S., you know, any, any lack of printing of money in the U.S., and it looks as if the market will spiral back into a recession. All right, going to the charts, great trading day. Anytime we have this type of action, it's just an awesome trading environment. Uh, today, we saw a nice gap down, a little three-bar surge. We went right up into this trend line from this pivot. So see this pivot from a couple days ago? That's where we moved up into. Market then sold off down to this gap fill, perfect gap fill. And again, if you don't know technical levels, I mean, you're really doing yourself a major disservice when it comes to understanding the moves in the market and making money, basically. Um, here in the mid-morning session, we hit gap fill. That was an obvious support level. The markets then bounce up. We push up through this original pivot and touch the next one. Notice why that market stalled there. I mean, this was the greatest level. I gave this to my members in the intraday stock chat early in the day. I said, when you get to the lows from yesterday, that's your shorting opportunity for the day. I mean, that's the trade of the day, basically. That's the one you're going to want to take. Well, not only did you get to that level here, but you also the 200 and the, and the 50 MA just above adding extra resistance. So as if that level wasn't good enough, add two more factors in there, and it is a no-brainer resistance level. Market's not going to get through there, not as weak as we were seeing it today. And sure enough, look at that. Since that point, the market's collapsed all the way down, coming into great support right here, at which point we've just bounced. So on a technical basis, you should be scalping the SPY left and right today and just making tons of money. If you're a member here at InTheMoneyStocks.com, then you are short swing trades as well that are paying off. I have a couple swing trade shorts out there right now, one of them being IBM. IBM's down over $3.5 today. Monster move down. Another short we have out there right now that I'm in as well, EMC, down $0.33 cents today. The beauty of this is we're almost to target on this one already. And again, at this stage, break even stop, no harm, no foul. You're in the money on all of our swing trade shorts at this point. We actually just had a couple new trades uh, trigger. So jump in if you're a Research Center member. Make sure you see the latest trigger on the hot charts and alerts that just triggered. And these are another trades. And again, folks, I actually put out a, a trigger level on a long trade recently here just today as well. So just to remind everyone, it's not about being short all the way or being long all the way. That has nothing to do with anything. That's a losing scenario. What you want to do is you want to study the charts and figure out what chart is going to go which way. Some charts will go up. Some charts will go down. One of the biggest bullish stocks I've been on the bandwagon of since the 420 level was Apple. All right, even right now, I'm bullish on Apple. What's Apple done? Apple's up today. And by the way, beautiful in spirit of bullish pattern here, intraday, as long as it holds the 20, it actually is not a bad intraday pattern. But I mean, the stock here, Apple's up three bucks on the day. Market's getting hammered. NASDAQ's down, you know, 30 points or so, and Apple is up. 
That's stock I've been bullish on. I've been bearish on IBM, bearish on EMC. Uh, we covered shorts the other day in the SDS, which is two times short the S&P 500. I mean, it's just a matter of isolating the charts. And that's where our 80 to 90% success rate comes from. Because everyone out there is like perma bull or perma bear. And that's not what it's about. You know, anyone like that is going to miss tons of moves. You want to be on the right side of every trade, not just some of them, not just 50% of them. You know, as long as you follow the PPT strategies, you're putting yourself in the right side on the right angle of all trades. All right. So again, that's a nice little move today on Apple. Really one of the few stocks to be positive. We also have research in motion positive. Amazon's taking another hit, but Amazon here, as it pulls down a little bit, is starting to get a little intriguing at the 200 moving average. So we will have some new trading opportunities, and there are some long opportunities that if we sell off a little bit more, we will have out there in this market. So I will keep my eyes open on these and obviously play them accordingly. I give out my trade alerts. Any trade I take as a swing trade goes out in the research center. We have a seven-day free trial to that research center. You got to come get involved. There's plenty of trading to be done. If you're not sitting there, you know, making money pretty much every day on a swing trade, whether the market's going up or down, you're obviously missing out on quite a bit and should join immediately, especially since it's a free trial. It's kind of like a no-brainer, you know? All right, J.P. Morgan taking a little bit of a hit today, down about 62 cents. The key to JPM is that it's actually hitting the 50 MA today. So this is a major level on J.P. Morgan Chase right there, 50 MA. Um, I actually do think it holds this level. So I think in the short term, tomorrow being Friday, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a flattish to up day, possibly holding JPM. As long as JPM doesn't sell off here late in the day and close below that 50, you should hold that short term. All right. Um, Goldman Sachs down $3 and change today. Nice little drop here. Interesting with Goldman, it bounced off the 50 yesterday. It's now below that 50 MA. This is your next big support area on Goldman Sachs on the daily chart. That's at 143.75. Okay. Uh, other stocks in motion today. Google's down a couple bucks. Baidu's down 35 cents. Really actually a strong showing on BIDU. I have to say, Baidu, um, even though the daily chart is pretty ugly, um, it is having a good day today. Had a good day yesterday as well, and a very good day again today, uh, considering what the markets are doing. Chevron's actually positive by $0.10, cents, but ExxonMobil taking quite a hit today. Exxon, if you go to your intraday chart here, um, this was a great trade here I gave out to the intraday stock chat. Remember, here at InTheMoneyStocks.com, we offer two services. You get the Research Center, which is for swing traders and investors. And if you're a day trader and you want to do day trading, then you take the hot, uh, intraday stock chat. And one of the great trades today was to buy um, ExxonMobil right here. All right, this is my entry right here. I gave it out to the research, uh, excuse me, I gave it out to the intraday stock chat as well. And look at the move off of this thing. I mean, just for dramatic. Now, you might say, well, how did I know to buy it there? Well, there was a technical support area, and there was a bottoming tail. So see the bottoming tail right there? That's a dead signal. What we do is we wait for a retrace. The retrace occurred right here. We bought right on this candle right here, and then the rest is history as it moves up. So, you know, the beauty of days like today is, you know, you're making money. If you're a member here of the Intraday Stock Chat and the Research Center, just like I am, I mean, obviously I run them both, um, you're making money on your swing trades, and you're making money on your day trades. You're having a great day while most people out there are taking hits as the market's dropping. I mean, their 401ks are going down, everything like that's going down. Here we are making money on everything. So I encourage you to come join us here at InTheMoneyStocks.com, folks. We look forward to having you. Just try the seven-day free trial. Simple and easy. Take care.